Look at Curry, man. Look at Curry, man. Look at Curry, man. Where's Curry? Yeah, look at Curry, man. Just trying to do great things in the world. You know what I'm saying? Fans of Stephen Curry, where are you? To keep yourself pumped and motivated, I would highly recommend you watch until the end of the most memorable moments of Stefan's decorated career. We might even give you a chance at winning a free prize, but you're gonna have to watch the whole video first. Known as one of the most incredibly popular, discussed, and acclaimed basketball players in modern times, Stephen Curry, born in Akron, Ohio in 1988, one of the greatest shooters of NBA history, the first of his kind. But how did it all start? Initially, Curry played college basketball for Davidson, and afterwards, the impact he made on basketball is undeniable. In the 2008 March Madness tournament run after a conference record, Davidson lost to Kansas, and Stephen said he wanted to return for his junior year and wanted to develop as a point guard in the NBA. On November 18th, Curry scored his career-high 44 points in Davidson's 82-78 loss to Oklahoma. He scored at least 25 points for the seventh straight game and extended his career-long streak. Curry managed to register 26 points, 9 rebounds, and 5 assists in what was his final game for the Wildcats, and amazingly, he didn't stop there. He made 28.6 points, 2.5 steals in his final season at Davidson and managed to become the NCAA scoring leader and was named a consensus first-team All-American. Long story short, that's the year that propelled him towards legendary status and eventually made him the sharpest shooter in NBA history. It all started in 2009 when a small and skinny 21-year-old Stephen Curry was selected 7th overall in the NBA draft by the Golden State Warriors. Though his size depreciated his draft stock, his shooting stroke and playmaking ability still earned him a top 10 pick. Curry was welcomed by loud but respectful boos from passionate fans of the New York Knicks. He was the fourth guard selected in the draft, and at that time, no one could have imagined how he would eventually become an acclaimed international superstar in the basketball world. Though he was far from a household name in the NBA, this still serves as one of the most iconic moments of his career. During 2009 to 2010, he appeared in 80 games, averaging 17 and a half points, four and a half rebounds, 5.9 assists, and 1.9 steals in 36.2 minutes, and the second half of the season vaulted him into the Rookie of the Year race. Curry was named Western Conference Rookie of the Month in January, March, and April, making him the only Western Conference rookie to win the award three times in a year. He finished his rookie season with 166 three-pointers, which were the most ever made by a rookie in NBA history. His enrollment in the NBA turned out to be a match made in heaven for him and the NBA both. On February 27, 2013, in Madison Square Garden, Stephen Curry placed himself on the map for the very first time, four years after entering the league. Curry dropped a cool 54 points in the mecca of sports and tallied one of the NBA's top scoring games in New York by becoming the first Warrior to score 45-plus at New York. He finished the game on 18 of 28 shooting, including an astounding 11 of 13 from Rainbow Territory. He also chipped in six rebounds, seven assists, and three steals to round out a jaw-dropping and mesmerizing performance. The only downside of the game was that the Warriors unfortunately lost to the Knicks 109-105, but it was without a doubt a breathtaking performance. In the same season, he broke the record for threes made in a season, burying 272 shots from deep, a record which he would later destroy three more times. Oops, spoiler alert. Anyway, jokes aside, his performance raised many eyebrows, giving an indication of Curry's arrival in the NBA as a bona fide superstar. Talking about MVP titles and championships, Curry achieved exactly this during that historic season of 2014-2015. The 2014-15 NBA season had the biggest highlights of his career, which brought a true breakout party for the superstar. The Warriors hired Steve Kerr as the new head coach of the team, who taught them to play at a faster pace and gave Curry more freedom to shoot, and the results of this decision were nothing short of magical. On February 4th, Curry scored a season-high 51 points in a win over the Dallas Mavericks and became a leading vote-getter for the All-Star Game. The Warriors finished the season with 67 wins, and Curry was voted the NBA Most Valuable Player. Curry averaged 23.8 points and 7.7 .7 assists per game, and for the finals, he managed 26 points and 6.3 assists per game, 
while also breaking his own single season threes record, knocking down 286 shots from beyond the arc. In the playoffs, he broke the record for threes made in a single postseason, en route to winning the Warriors their first NBA championship title in 40 years. In the 2015-16 season, which was Curry's second MVP season, a memorable game against Oklahoma City was one of the best victories in his entire career. Curry posted 46 points as the winning shot was his 12th three-pointer in a victory over one of the league's best teams. He made six assists while knocking down the NBA's single game record. With the game tied up at 118 in overtime, his shot was bigger than the previous one. The 2015-2016 season was a historic season for the Warriors, but it was not a coincidence. It happened due to Curry's hot streak during his unanimous MVP season. Stephen Curry started the season by opening the first three games by scoring 40, 41, and 53 points the most which were ever made by a shooter in the first three games, as Michael Jordan scored 118 points to start the 1989-90 season. He smashed his own record once again, but this time he converted 402 three-point field goals, a historic record that still holds up to this day. He averaged 30.1 points and 2.1 steals to go along with 6.7 assists and 5.4 rebounds per game, and with the icing on the cake, he earned his first unanimous MVP award in NBA history. The Warriors set a league record by winning their first 24 games of the season. They entered with 48 wins and only 4 losses, which was another league record. On the very last night of the season, they triumphed over the Memphis Grizzlies to ensure their 73rd win, the most in the history of the NBA, even surpassing the Chicago Bulls in 1995-96. In the finals, they held a 3-1 lead over LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers, but failed to close out the series and eventually lost in Game 7 at home. On November 4, 2016, he made a record-breaking 13 three-pointers, and this record-breaking outing came a night after Curry snapped his streak of 157 games making at least one triple per game. He went 0-10 for 10 from beyond the arc against the Los Angeles Lakers. The very next night, Stephen Curry broke what was then the record for threes made in a game when he buried 13 shots from long range against the New Orleans Pelicans. Curry, Kobe Bryant, and Danielle Marshall were all previously tied in history for threes made in a game with 12, but Curry's 13 three balls that night carried him even more closely to owning nearly every three-point record the league has to offer. By scoring 46 on the night, his 13 makes came on 17 attempts from deep, shooting 76.5% from three. Who drains 13 triples in a single ball game? Insane! His record for the most threes in a game was later smashed by his teammate Clay Thompson during the 2018-2019 season. Before we continue, we told you there's a chance at winning free prizes. Make sure to check out the first link in the description. Once you finish watching the whole video, comment your favorite Curry memory. Like and share the video as this will increase your chances of winning. Curry's best asset is undoubtedly his ability to shoot the ball. As a matter of fact, many people consider him to be the greatest shooter of all time, which I totally second. After blowing a 3-1 lead in 2016, the NBA fans and media were all over Golden State all season long. In January 2017, Curry had his second 40-point game of the season, and he reached the threshold of 12,000 points, which made him the seventh player in Warriors history to secure the 12,000 points goal. Apparently, this month appeared to be lucky for him as he was named a starter on the Western Conference All-Star team for the 2017 NBA All-Star game. What a start to the new year with big achievements on his way, as he agreed to a five-year, $201 million extension with the Warriors, becoming the first NBA player to sign a Supermax contract worth over $200 million. With a 3-1 lead in the 2017 Finals, it was crucial that the Warriors closed out Game 5 at home to silence any opportunity for LeBron and the Cavs to complete another comeback and Curry stepped up to the task. He finished the game with 34 points and 10 assists on the night to secure the Warriors' second championship in three years. Curry was not awarded with the Finals MVP due to the success that his new teammate Kevin Durant had, but his 26.8 points, 9.4 assists, 8 rebounds, and 2.2 steals per game proved equally as vital in earning his second championship ring. 
In the 2018 NBA Finals Game 2, leading 1-0 in their fourth straight finals against the Cavaliers, Stephen Curry caught fire in Game 2 to lock down home court and earned a promising 2-0 series lead, which made his fans go crazy. After shooting 4 for 11 through the first three quarters of the game, Curry found his stroke in the fourth quarter, burying all five of his three-point attempts. What was only a 10-point game going into the fourth was put completely out of reach when Stephen Curry got the hot hand. His fifth three of the quarter broke the finals record for threes made in a game with nine, and it gave the Warriors a 21-point lead to put away Cleveland in Game 2. The Warriors went on to sweep Cleveland, and Curry earned his third NBA championship ring. Most people think he should have won finals MVP, and after realizing the uproar, he responded, At the end of the day, I'm not going to let a finals MVP trophy define my career. I'm a three-time champ. Such grace and humbleness. Stephen Curry is the Warriors' all-time free-throw leader and has led the NBA in free-throw percentage four times. He is a high-percentage free-throw shooter, making 90.6% through the end of 2019-2020. Curry has a whole system within himself because he can dominate as a champion in any circumstances. 2020 was also a record-breaking year for Stephen Curry. On Christmas Day, December 25, 2020, Curry had 19 points against the Milwaukee Bucks, moving him past Rick Barry for second place on the Warriors' all-time points list. On December 27, 2020, Curry put up 36 points in a 129-128 win over the Chicago Bulls. With this game, he joined Ray Allen and Reggie Miller as the only players to have scored more than 2,500 career three-pointers in NBA history. Comment down below your favorite memory of Stephen Curry. Make sure to check out the first link in the description. Click the next video and keep watching our videos because they're amazing and you'll love them.